Greetings everyone. In today's video, we are going to be doing the Vulnerability Assessment ZTF1 for the EJPT certification. Without further ado, let's get into it. We are going to start with an NMAP scan to see what we got on the target. And then in the meantime, we are going to inspect the website. Obviously, the first thing you should do each and every time is to check the robots.txt file. It seems like we have a first interesting directory called passwords. So let's look inside it. We can see that we have a flag here. So once you get this flag, this is going to be flag number 4. Now, if you look at accounts.txt, it seems like this is this looks like the password file inside Linux. And I will keep it open in case we need it. Now let's go back to our nmap scan and check if we have anything interesting. So by looking at the scan, we see that there is a git repository as well as a MySQL server. So first of all, let's check the GitHub repository. It seems like we also found the flag here, and this is going to be flag number 1. So what remains is flag number 2 and flag number 3. So I have already looked into this here, so you don't need to lose your time. There is nothing interesting here. Let's go back to our map scan. Now we can see that we have a MySQL server hosted on port 3306. Another thing we can also look at is the fact that we have a PHP MyAdmin page. So let's have a look into it. And it seems like we can automatically get inside the PHP MyAdmin section without authentication. So this is another very uncommon vulnerability. Let's check inside the MySQL DB. There is a table called Secret Info. Let's look into it. And we can see here our flag number 2. So what remains is flag number 3. There is one thing we didn't do. Brute force the directories to see if we can find anything. We will try doing it using the nmap scripting engine. And we are going to be using the HTTP enum script. Seems like there's nothing really interesting here. So I am gonna be using GoBuster. And then for the word list, I am going to use common.txt. So everything here seems normal, but we can see something that we have not found previously. It's the PHP info.php section. So let's have a look into it. At first glance, seems like a really normal PHP file. However, if you scroll a bit and look carefully into it, you will find the flag number 3 here. So this ends up our video here. I really made it quick and short. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.